This is a setup that you could use to control any numerical controlled machine manually. I can set the speed using a linear potentiometer and that is in millimeters per second. Then I can control the direction of movement for two axes using buttons. I also have a screen where I can get the speed and the distance made for each axis in millimeters. You could also reset the distance anytime that you want and also change the speed while moving. I hope that this tutorial will be useful in case you want to implement a setup like this one for a CNC machine or in case of a project that we worked on and that is to control the movement of a tower drill table like this one. So in this video I will show you all the components that I wanted for this setup, the schematic, the code and how to implement it. Before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to see my future videos. Also check my Patreon page if you want to support my projects. So guys, let's get started. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Great news about their services. JLC PCB has a widely priced cut for 1 to 6 layers boards and also an offer for PCB together with the stencil. The price is 15 to 20% lower on stencil, 25% on multi-layer PCBs and 5 to 20% on batch PCBs. Production time and shipping is just a couple of days. So order your PCBs now for very low prices. What's up my friends, welcome back. As I said before, this will be an example video. Meaning that there will be no real life machine and no final PCB. Only the electronics part will be explained. I will later connect my circuit to a CNC machine, but I won't explain how to make that machine. You could use this setup for any X and Y application and you could change the speed and the movement setup variables in the code. This is part from a cooperation video with a Russian channel called Alpha Mods. If you understand Russian, I definitely recommend you this channel. Using my electronic skill and his mechanical design, we were able to make a manual control CNC machine, so that should be just a CN machine. I want my system to have the following parts. First of all, two stepper motors for X and Y movements. Of course, we will need a step motor driver for each motor. I will use these A4988 drivers, since these are very cheap. I want my system to have a sliding potentiometer like this one and be able to set the speed in millimeters per second with this potentiometer. Then the setup will have 10 push buttons, but for this example I will use just 5 basic buttons for X, Y and reset. Two of these 10 buttons will be for going forward and backwards on the Y axis. Two more for going left and right on the X axis and the other four to combine the X and Y movements at the same time, so for diagonal movements. The other two buttons are used to reset the distance. Now very important, we should also have an enable switch in case we want to rotate the motors manually. If the enable button is turned on, we won't be able to move the motors. In case of our project, these motors were placed on a precision milling working table like this one that could be placed over a drill tower, or in my case using this engraving machine. But once you have the schematic and the code, you could apply this system to any other X and Y movement machine. Ok, so I also want a big LCD display in order to show the speed in millimeters per second, but also the X and Y distance that was made in millimeters that I could reset anytime that I want using the push buttons. This is the full schematic for this project. Check the links below for my webpage electronloops.com where you could download the schematic, the code and see more photos for this project. I've also designed a PCB if you want to give your project a better look. Just download the Gerber files from below and send them to GLC PCB and get your PCBs. Ok, so for the push buttons I've decided to go with external pull downs. So all the buttons should have pull downs. If not, we could define the pull ups in the code and then invert the digital read later. To enable the motors I will just use a switch like this one, but you could also use this kind of emergency switch that you could buy from eBay. As for the LCD, I'm using a 20x4 liquid crystal display, but you also have the code for a more common LCD which is 16x2. 
so download that code if you're using this type of LCD. Now you're probably wondering why I have two Arduinos. Well, if I use only one, you should make a lot of interruptions for the steps and direction pulses for the step motors drivers. As you know, this driver needs an enable signal, a step and directional signal in order to work. With the enable pin we activate or deactivate the motor. The direction of rotation will be to the right if the direction pin is set to high, and to the left for direction pin set to low. Finally, to the step pin we will apply square pulses, where each level change of this signal is one more step made. So here comes the problem, using just one Arduino, each time we print the distance to the LCD screen, there was a small delay in the motor rotation, and we don't want that. We want a steady speed all the time, speed set by the linear potentiometer. So in order to keep the code simple and just for two more dollars, I've placed a second Arduino. I named this Arduino Arduino B, and the other one is Arduino A. Arduino A will read the buttons, the potentiometer and the enable switch, and that will create the pulses for the motors. Arduino B will read those pulses and count the steps, detect the direction and so on, and by that it will count the distance made for each axis. And that will be made using pin state interruptions, so we won't miss any step. In this way we can rotate the motors with no pause, and at the same time we will print the distance on the screen with a descent refresh rate. Below you will find two codes, named manual CNC Arduino A and Arduino B, one for each Arduino. On the LCD screen you can see the X, the Y and the speed values. And when I push the buttons the motors are rotating and the distance will increase or decrease. If I press the reset buttons the distance will go to zero. This should be useful when you want to make precision movements. I've attached the motors to my CNC machine and let's give it a test. Read the code line by line, and have in mind that the speed of the movement is given by the amount of steps that the motor needs for a full rotation. In case of these NEMA 17 motors, we need 200 steps for a full rotation. Then you must know the type of lead screw that you use. In this case, this lead screw needs several rotations for 1 cm so 140 steps for 1 mm. You could change all these parameters in these variables, in case you use other parts. So I could now manually control my CNC machine with good precision. You could change the speed, direction, reset the position or disable the motors in case you want to rotate the axis by hand. I could also change the speed while the motors are moving. So that's how I've made my manual control machine with decent precision. I could now use this to carve wood or plastic, just by moving around. I hope that you find this project useful, and that you could adapt it to your project, as Alpha Mods did for his tower drill machine. I also hope that you liked this video and that you have learned something new. If so, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell for future videos. Also click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. Also remember that your help on Patreon means a lot for me, and we'll keep this kind of projects going. So thank you very much for your support. So thanks again and see you later guys.